Scheduling tasks in the background to run at specific intervals is essential to many modern web applications. And periodic server housekeeping plays an important role in the stability and availability of the different sites and services running on your servers. In this video, we are going to look into configuring and running scheduled tasks on your production servers. So stay tuned. In Laravel, the command scheduler offers a good approach to managing scheduled tasks on your servers. The scheduler component allows you to fluently define your command schedule within your Laravel application code base, saving you the pain of having to configure every single periodic task in your server's cron configuration. You only need to add one cron entry in your server and Laravel will run all its scheduled jobs when, you, when they are due. Now, Every Linux distribution has cron installed by default, and you can easily install it using the apt packaging system. To configure cron, you need to edit a special file on the server called cron tab and add your command, frequency, and the system user that the command should run under. Defining the frequency of a command is done via a special format that uses five different fields. Minute of the hour, which can be between 0 and 59, hour of the day, which can be 0 to 23, day of the month, which can be from 1 to 31, and month of the year, which can be 1 to 12, and day of the week, which can be 0 to 6, with 0 representing Sunday and 6 representing Saturday. You can use an asterisk in any of the fields to represent all possible values. For example, take a quick look at this. This command will run every minute on Mondays. And this one will run at 10.30 every day. Now, keeping track of all the jobs for all Laravel applications along with the server housekeeping jobs in the cron tab file can get messy real quick. And for that reason, Laravel Forge offers a simple UI for managing scheduled jobs on your Ubuntu servers. Head over to the server settings screen on forge.laravel.com and select the scheduler tab. To create a new job, fill in the form with your command, the system user that the command should run under, and the frequency. You can select one of the common frequencies like minutely, hourly, nightly, which means every day at 12 a.m., weekly, which means every Sunday at 12 a.m., or monthly which means every first day of the month at 12 a.m. You can also configure a command to run every time the server reports. And finally, you can use a custom cron expression and Forge will show you the next expected run so you can validate your input in real time. And once you click create, Forge will edit the cron tab file on your server and add the entry. You can see all existing entries in, the, in a table at the bottom of the page along with the status of each one. You can also pause a job or remove it completely from this drop down menu. Also, you can check the output of the last run by clicking show output. Forge will show you the output in a formatted readable way or show this job hasn't run yet so you check again later when the job runs. Now, cron jobs use the server's defined time zone, which is UTC by default. If you want to change your server's time zone, you can easily do that from the meta section of your server settings screen. Scroll down to the server metadata and select the time zone. Forge will automatically restart the cron service on your server after this change so cron updates its internal timer to work with the new time zone. Cron is a very neat tool to help you automate things on your server. It is very flexible and reliable, and we use it at Forge to offer the database backup functionality to our business plan customers. But that's a topic for another video. Now, with Forge, managing cron jobs becomes a breeze. 
If you haven't tried Forge yet, sign up at forge.laravel.com and use coupon code ARTSANDDEPLOY for a 10% discount on your first three months. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.